Today we're going to be talking about installing a micro bypass on a Alpine head unit. This particular model happens to be the IVE 535HD model. And this micro bypass was purchased online from Amazon and it has specific instructions on how to hook it up. But uh, looking at the other YouTube videos, there were some that you just used a test meter on a bench to show um, theoretically how to install it. And I had seen some others that use a different type of bypass. So I wanted to create a video to show how to install this style of bypass. So the first step was to pull the radio out and find the existing wires that are mentioned in the installation. And it's really nice because this is made for Alpine. It has a blue and yellow wire, a blue and um, white wire, a black and yellow wire, and then the black ground wire. So I found where those were hooked up because this was installed by a, ret uh, a retailer and they had hooked it up to the foot brake and to the parking brake. So I found those wires where they were hooked up to. I just uh, cut them off, capped them off. I labeled them and zip strapped them and I'll put them back here in case in the future it ever needs to be reinstalled. After that, the process was to find the wires in the harness itself that they would in, uh, need to be connected to. And in order to do that, you'll find the identical wires on the radio itself. And you can see right here, there is a blue and yellow. There is the black and yellow. There is the, um, this one's a little bit harder to see, but you can see it coming out of there is the blue and white. And then we have the ground on the bottom right here coming out, which is the black wire. Uh, the only trick to the uh, black wire and the blue wires, there just wasn't a bunch of slack and there were some already, uh, there was some things already hooked in over here into this connector. So I cut it off and I'm using these waterproof uh, shrink butt connectors, which I happen to like. You can use any kind you want. Uh, I just got these at Harbor Freight and then I connected it in. You can see where the black wire um, at the top, the small one is coming out of it. And that's going into the micro bypass and I just heat shrinked them and I used this uh, nice crimping tool and wire stripper which made the installation really easy. Uh, after that, I did uh, the uh, blue and white wire. Uh, to note, the instructions do tell you which ones have to be exclusively tied into the micro bypass, uh, which happen to be the yellow and blue wire and the black and yellow wire. Those ones go directly into, as you can see, the harness that goes into the radio and is shared with nothing else. I did make a mistake on the first one doing that with the blue and white wire, and unfortunately I turned on the stereo and there was no sound. That's because this has nothing to do with the parking brake or the brake. It is the remote turn on for the amplifier that I have in the trunk. So if you have that, you'll notice that I have the blue and white wire from micro bypass and the remote turn on wire all connected into this butt connector, which is then connected into the blue and white wire on the harness. Once all of these are connected and you've got a, a, a nice seal on them, want to make sure that they don't come loose. We can test it out. I've got the keys in the ignition. Um, and if you see, I have the stereo on, I have a DVD in, I'm going to go ahead and put the parking brake down and I can play a video. And there you have it. So now you'll be able to do that as well as adjust the settings as needed on the stereo, on the stereo without having to use the parking brake or the foot brake. Hopefully this helped you. Have a great day.